Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck the plane you flew in on. Fuck them shoes. Fuck the socks with the bell on it. Fuck your gay ass, very fat accent. Fuck them cheap ass cigars. Fuck your yuck mouth teeth. Fuck your hair piece. Fuck your chocolate. Fuck Guy Ritchie. Fuck Prince William. Fuck the Queen. This is America. My Lambo is blue, nigga. Now get the fuck out my hotel room. And if I see you in the street, I'm slapping the shit out of you. How beautiful people are you today? So I wanted to talk about targeted individuals and explain to you exactly what I have made and tell you the downfalls of it and the upside of it. Now, I want you to understand I'm about to reveal like some things in this video that are 100% true. I don't lie. I don't need to. Um, this has been an ongoing thing that I've been going through with the governments of the world secretly and to the ones that have known about the Gua'ul Sith infection and the Rothschilds basically giving over humanity to these demonic entities. Now, what I want you to understand is everything comes from a Sith queen. A Sith queen is psychotic, psychopathic, and a deranged stalker obsessed with power and control. She became obsessed with me in France after, I'll be honest with you, I was off world and became infected by some of her nanotechnology and I was able to fight it off. Now I want you to understand the only reason I was able to fight it off is because these things specifically dealt with time travel and when you get infected in a few seconds, they will go to your future and infect you and then infect you right at that moment and make a loop and you don't even know it. Now, I want you to understand this is specifically how they operate. So when the queen or when one of her little minions infected me, jumped on the back of my neck, and infected me, I, I just kind of flexed and broke it apart. They had never seen anything like this. And what I mean by flex is I just, you know, strengthened my neck and it broke their connection. Then the other like little Sith robots came around and they didn't attack me. They had never seen anything like this. So then I started attacking them and destroying them. So the Rothschilds basically heard or saw what I did and tried to lock me down off world. My own cousins. Because they took over the underground base in the Bastille, which is a French intelligence base 
that they know the Rothschilds run, control, and own and use for laundering money. And what I mean by laundering money, I mean straight up laundering money. It has a teleportation or teleportation gate and it has an off-world gate where they're taking American products and American technology and charging people for gold and silver for these things. So this is a whole nother ball game that they got going off world, not to mention they completely robbed this world blind, which they hoard enough gold to food and clothe everyone in this world 10 times over. That's every single person, man and child. So they had this racket going off world where they were doing the same thing. So I want you to understand, I would, they, they sent me, or more or less locked me down because I snuck on one of their trains that went off world. And when they found out, they sent the Sith there and they infected that whole world. So then the Sith came and they sent their little robotic Borgs after me. And the world didn't get infected. What did happen was they ended up running. And the Rothschilds control on that off world, I destroyed them. So in my, you know, Assassin Radio, I can never I cannot confirm or deny whether it's true, but I talk about some things that I did to them. So I want you to understand that a few weeks ago I revealed that I'm on a secret mission for Russia and France. So this mission hopefully is coming to an end because I met a time traveler in France when I was homeless on the street and the lady, she told me she was from 2014, which at the time it was about 2011. So she said the infection was stabilized in 2014 and she brought me or she came here to tell me to just don't worry, I'll figure it out. Now I never understood what she meant by that until today. Because now it makes sense. So there's an Asian woman out there that used time travel from either Japan, China, or France. I mean, there's a lot of people that I suspect have time travel programs. And she was from this year. So what I've discovered, it works. There are people in 2011, my time in 2014, knew that I would discover something and make something, but they couldn't tell me in 2011. They had to let me go through what I went through to develop what I've made today, or what I just announced today, which is the Sith Killer. So I want you to understand, this is basically three years of information of dealing with these things and fighting them off because literally people you have no idea like when they take over your mind they take over your mind they haven't been able to take over my mind I've been fighting them consistently the US government uses DARPA you know the thought police that's them. That is the Sith Queen's corporation. That is their number one way of stealing ideas from scientists. DARPA is. DARPA is the most evil shit in the world. Now, let me explain to you something. Say you develop something like me that can turn the tur like like Michael Jackson sang that song take it back 
when you see in the video everything rewinding and the earth healing and all the nuclear radiation going, all that stuff, it's real now. This thing that I made and it properly turned into the application mixed with the things that I've developed in the last three years, it has limitless possibilities, people. We could literally heal our home. I want you to understand, microwave weapons have been used by our government Earlier than 1974, Silent Sound was doable in 1974. In 1954, it was doable. 1974 is when they patented it. Silent Sound is the way they hack into you and your subconscious and project their voice. They do this with radio waves. And then they take the radio waves and turn it into TV waves, which go right through your body and into your mind and subconscious. This is what they use TV for. So I want you to understand, many, many scientists have come forward saying that their ideas were stolen in this way. But this isn't just used by the Queen of England because that's who owns DARPA, CIA, NSA, Department of Communications, it, and MI5 and my 666. She owns it all. Just because they say they're based in America, well, America's a corporation that's owned by the wicked, wretched bitch herself, the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth. So this wretched bitch with Evelyn Ross, you know, she wants to give the whole world to these Satanists and set up corporations like DARPA to make sure that if you come up with a way to destroy them or that's going to hurt them in any way, they're going to assassinate you. And this is just by thinking So this is why I put my idea up on YouTube and I patented it. Well, I I copywrote the idea with my free copyright. So at least, you know, it's halfway safe and the government can't take it away and just say, oh, you can't use this. Because I want you to understand it's all about the frequencies I developed and the mechanism I've developed for what it's used for. Broadcasting and healing. They've been using it for broadcasting and brainwashing. And they can say, oh, it's the same technique or same. No, it's not. There's no video. I don't want video. Video serves no purpose within this. So I want you to understand Dr. Royal Rife. This is the evolution of his healing mechanism. If you don't know the story of Royal Rife, the man that built the first microbiotic telescope, and how because of the fucking English, excuse me English, British, Because of the fucking wicked German British, the medical industry runs on antibiotics and not the rife. Because the rife works. This is basically the cheapest form of a rife. And this can be made at home if you know how to make it And then the frequencies or a CD purchase from me. And it's as simple as that. And then Japan or Russia get a hold of it, which they also have highly compressed microwave weaponry 
because the U.S. has got it, and they can take these microwave weapons and reverse engineer them and turn them on our ocean with compressed microwave energy of healing. Compress RF frequencies of healing rather than weaponry. So I want you to know these frequencies first were developed for healing. And it was the U.S. government that perverted them and turned them into weapons and weapons of mass mental mind destruction. And then they started using them on people like me and Laurel Aston for severe mind control. I want you to know the way they use microwave weapons, diarrhea, vomiting, thyroid problems, and the list goes on and on and ultimately death. That is the purpose that they serve. So because of my research that I've consistently been doing, because I have a rife, I know how it works. And without this research that I've been doing, I'd be dead. Laurel Aston would be dead. I'm not kidding. I mean, when I met her, precisely when I met her, When she was in New York and her, her roommates, who were CIA agents, Jin Young, um, Kim, and Miss uh, Atunga, who I ran out the house, they took a syringe and, and stabbed poison and poisoned her in her stomach. When she was under mind control, they were using this. They were using the same type of weaponry, microwave weapons, and put her out. There's a frequency that can be used through Wi-Fi. So they put her out when she was sleeping, went in her room, and put poison in her stomach. This was shortly before we met, or or right when we met. We don't really know. So then me and her started doing the videos and then she was just fighting this with, with her dear life. And then I got there with, with my frequencies and started exposing her to them, but they were, they were hacking into the frequencies and still they do now through my computer. So every time I sleep, Oh, don't think I don't know, Tempest, what the fuck you're doing. They use Tempest and Tempest technology to piggyback on the frequencies because Tempest can get at you through electricity. Tempest is very hard to block. It's one evil fucking machine. So then they go into Tempest and try to alter the microwave weapons in that way. Without Tempest government, CIA, Nazi, fucking British-run, German scumbag witches, you'd be fucked. And don't think I don't know. So I can guarantee you either Japan has already taken a, a, a cup of Fukushima water and blasted it with these frequencies in their labs and find found out at the proper boosted frequency, it will work. I can guarantee you Japan has probably taken this technology and started broadcasting it in Fukushima to heal its people in secret. I can guarantee you, France, people in California have watched my video and they've taken it seriously and started using it. 
I don't expect payment for it. There's not enough time to make a video and say, hey, you're dying. I got something that can save your life, but you got to pay me. I'm not like that. They are. I patented it so I can get acknowledgement for it. And once I get my money and my equipment, I know I can take it to a whole new level that nobody else can. And start really, really seriously, seriously healing people. Because everything is out there. But the thing with the Fukushima, that needs to be taken care of like yesterday. So, wretched Queen of England, bitch ass Windsors, wretched Rothschilds, this is your cousin, Mr. Zacharias Ewing, Zacchaeus. I challenged you to a duel. And, okay, people, I want you to understand a duel? When Freemasons make the challenge of duel because of a dispute amongst Masons, they have to accept. So then the rules go like this. I challenge them all. And they can pick one suitor to represent them. And if he loses, I can have all their heads. So with the challenge, I can do it myself or pick a suitor to represent me. I'm with Laurel Aston. She's the girl from Kill Bill. See, they know this right now, people. They know I can do either or. And they know how deadly I am. So I can tell you right now that they're using... Tempest and Harp to accept our challenge, but they want to make sure that if we go up against them, they shut off our training with their little goo triggers, their little Sith triggers that they put in us every night when we sleep. I just woke up from a nap because I've been working, and yeah, I have their Sith triggers all in my head. Every time I wake up, I have to push them out of my brain, literally. And it, it is, it's, it's not a pleasant process, you wretched bitch, queen, Tempest, Rothschilds. Don't you... Think for a second. I don't know every fucking thing you do. So, one way or the other, you're going to get what's fucking coming to you. Seriously. So, I want people to understand exactly what's going on. I can tell you that I've probably more than likely become the most fucking important person on earth. And Quentin Tarantino, Laurel Aston, here's a message from her to you. You did a movie about her. You hacked up her life and told things that are not true. She's coming after you with the truth. And she's with me. And Quentin Tarantino, don't think I don't know about you paying the Mexican officials, what was it, yesterday? To try to pick me up with their dirty narco cops, stupid. Oh, we already went through that with Cesar Augusta. Oh, I know. You couldn't contact your CIA guys. You had to go directly to your dirty Mexicans. That's understandable. That's a given. But see, if you had gone to your CIA contacts, they would have told you that's completely pointless. 
because there's a Mexican cartel lawyer that stole 70 grand from Laurel Aston that already showed up at our house with two hitmen and already tried the same shit with dirty municipal cops in Cancun, stupid, which I caught on video and exposed weeks ago. But he's Quentin Tarantino, you know? He just, oh, you're going to take my money? Oh, okay, you're going to come out? Of course. Because it's her life that you stole and made billions of dollars off of, you piece of shit. So don't think we don't know exactly what you did. Do you think the people watching Miss Aston have not been waiting for this shit? Waiting for you to make a move on her. Do you think when I went after you on Facebook, Interpol, and everyone else wasn't fucking watching you to see what you would do and got footage of you doing what you did yesterday? Mr. Tarantino, which you can't even go to your own houses now. You can't even log on to Facebook. Mr. Tarantino, Queepy Quentin, and I spell it Queepy with a Q, because that's how we did it, because the shit was funny. Interpol and other international agents can go into your houses with your fucking movie collections and snuff films, Mr. Quentin, that you've collected since you were in junior high. And I am a witness to that. And I went on record stating that. What do you think, Quentin? Did your obsession with watching people get killed just go away? You can tell it didn't if you watch one of his fucking films. The Demented Sick Bitch. So I single-handedly shut Quentin Tarantino out of all his houses all his property and his own fucking Facebook and next comes his accounts after the Mexican cartel shit with the money. I'm the best at this. I don't lose. And if I did, I'd be dead. So I want you to get a clear picture of what's going on, people. Yeah, and Dr. DeVay, pay up. I don't even want to waste my breath on your dumb Nazi bitch ass anymore. So anyway, this is what's going on. And I want you to understand, hey, Mexico, I know what you did. Yeah, Mexico, somebody in Mexico, and it doesn't take much jacked into the frequency I'm transmitting. And so all around Mexico, with separate people's houses, you know, you could feel like the good energy vibrating from their homes. So somebody took it upon themselves to jack into my frequency and to transmit the frequency. That's okay. Because you don't have to worry about the Sith bitch because the Sith bitch specifically is going for me to try to figure out how to undo this shit with witchcraft and science. But there's no undoing the YouTube video, you stupid, wicked bitch. Neither witchcraft or science can stop that. <laughs> so your computers, your trillion dollar computers like Echelon, which is an assassin stalker computer, and Tempest, which, you know, are the queen of wretched England's love and joy. I mean, what can they do? Nothing. They're probably, your computers are probably saying you're fucked. Checkmate. And I want you to know the queen of England houses the Sith queen. That's her counterpart. 
So anyway, another version of Assassin Radio. Yeah, I know it ain't funny. It's not funny. Not today. Today we just took it to a whole other level of realness and ass kicking. On a whole other metaphysical level. So this is how it goes. Um, to all my friends out there, I'd like to give respects and shout out to Qbert, Robert, Vincent, Brian, Joseph, Anna Chapman, Susan, and all the really great people out there that just keep me going, respects, love and respect, thank you, and to all the other people that support the videos and have continued to help me with ideas and support, and really, really people that are on my channel that listen to the Chemtrail Radiation Detox Mix and said, wow, it works so well. I know it works really well. If it didn't work really well, I'd be dead. And for the people that got really sick when they first listened to it, that means you're really infected. And that means you should take a really good closer look at your life. And it means you're probably targeted and you don't know. Because if, if you listen to those frequencies and you get really sick, that means it, it really hardcore detoxes you. And you have some really, really, really big, 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 big things going on in your life where you're super, super toxic. And if you hadn't gotten that detox, you probably would, would have gotten a worse disease and died. So anyway... Mad love and respect. Walk in the light, people. It doesn't get any realer than it gets right now. So I can tell you that shit's really going down. And I want you to know what Quentin Tarantino, he's not going to hand over the money. He thinks he's a CIA gangster. He made a movie about CIA assassins. So he thinks like he's Mr. Untouchable. But it just so happens that movie happened to be about CIA assassins trying to kill one woman and that woman is still living. And oh, Bill's not dead. Lawrence Dean O'Brien from California, Pasadena, which in Kill Bill, notice Kill Bill number one that takes place in Pasadena, California when um, Laurel Aston fights Vivica Fox or whoever, you know, that woman portrays. That takes place in Pasadena, California. Bill is in Pasadena, California. So I want you to understand there's a lot of lies in Kill Bill. A lot of lies. So if he had told the real story, you know, it, it wouldn't be the Kill Bill that you people like all oh, spent like billions of dollars on DVDs and movie tickets to see. So there's a lot of lies in Kill Bill. I want you to know that. So anyway, um, stay positive. Um, walk in the light. I have frequencies online, videos. They're for free. Understand that I'm doing my best to keep them clean. But I mean, Tempest is on the warpath, people. They don't want this. This means the end of them. This means no more brainwashing people with TV and administering mind control with TV. That's what this means. This means no more demonic possession through films from demonic Hollywood. That's what this means. So they don't want that. So I want you to understand that not only did I become the man that the Mexican cartel put a hit on after having Cesar Augusta steal 70 grand from Laurel Aston and me in diamonds and then set up his fucking office across the street, which he hasn't been at in days. So 
So I go from the man the Mexican cartel wants dead, and when I walk through the mall, I see other Americans, you know, say, oh, they, what's up with the guy with the sword? Oh, that's just Michael Jackson's cousin. The cartel, you know, wanted to kidnap him and, and you know, wa wanted to kill him. And, you know, I saw this black girl go, hmm, this fucking stupid Mexican cartel. And that's what she said. Everybody knows what's going on. I'm the talk of Cancun. I mean, you can't help but to talk about the shit. Everybody hates the cartel. What, you think Mexican people, poor Mexican people, aren't going to talk about, oh, they went after Michael Jackson's cousin. You think that ain't some shit to talk about? Oh, he's still alive. If you see a guy walking around with a samurai sword, that's him. That's some shit to talk about. Everybody knows. So I went from that to now what my secret mission was about, creating this. So French, Russians, I did it. But it hasn't been perfected because I'm not in a secure place. I'm still in a CIA hive. Run by a Mexican cartel and other child assassins next door. So anyway, now they know that the CIA sent them in thinking that they're, they're, they're just the shit, right? I'm sure those are the best Mexican child assassins that the CIA has living next to me. Well, I can tell you something. I'm old school, bitch. I'll take you apart, make you shit and piss in your pants, and beg your little CIA handler mommy to take you away from this place. Because the CIA blew smoke up your ass because that's about all they can do. Just like Quentin Tarantino paid a municipal dirty cop that took the money, went out for a drive looking for me. Let me tell you what happened, people. Laurel Aston has a thyroid problem. We're out of her medication almost in about... Roughly about 10 days, she's going to be out. If she doesn't have that medication, she could go into a panic attack, or not a panic attack, uh, seizures and die. Seriously. So I've gone everywhere to GNC, looking for thyroid complex, all these places to ask them if they can order thyroid complex, and everybody said no, they can't. I went to, what is the name of that place? Not Sam's Wholesale, Costco, which Laurel Aston went to Costco. Let me tell you how the CIA paid him off. Laurel Aston went to Costco, asked him if they had her medication. They said yes. I went to Costco. Asked him if they had this medication. The lady says yes, but she didn't have 1.5 grams. Because 1.5 grams in Mexico is 150 grams. But I didn't know that at the time. So I go back the next day, and I get this Mexican cholo that says, oh, we don't have it. I said, but the lady yesterday said you guys do have it, just not in 1.5. He's like, no, 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 we don't have it. They said, this is Mexico. That's American. We don't have it. So they got paid off by the CIA. This is what they do, and this is what they've fucking done to us our entire fucking lives. So I want you to know the real situation. This is what's going on right now. And I'm doing my best.
best to block out their shit that's coming from these fucking assassins next door to me. Because their job is to kill her. Their job is to kill me. Their job is to make sure that she doesn't get her medication and she dies. It's as simple as that. So welcome to Assassin Radio. Welcome to my real world. CIA, you are dead. Your little gang stalking supremacy, white Nazi supremacy is over. You hear me? CIA, NSA, DARPA, Tempest, HARP, Queen of fucking England, you and your wretched bloodline are done. Broth shields, same with you. I'll be very surprised if the French aren't confiscating your shit as I speak. Because don't forget, there are other scientists out there They can take this to a whole new level and they can come at you now and not worry about your harp or tempest and other brain, neurological brain numbing shit that you do for anybody that comes after you. They can build a Sith killer helmet. They can build a frequency modulator that's Portable, bitch. So what are you going to do then, huh? The end is near. Walk in the light, people. Stay blessed. And for you Nazi, CIA, NSA, DARPA, Tempest, wicked witches, you, your bloodline, your fins, your family, anybody that has any fucking thing to do with you are as dead as you. Because there's more people on this earth that want to live and without your wicked witch shit than there is from people that just want to die from it, huh? Think about that. Stupid. I fucking hate witches because they're stupid. Peace. I'm snapping the shit out of you. Look, fuck you, fuck the plane you flew in on, fuck them shoes, fuck the sock with the bell on it, fuck your gay ass fairy faggot accent, fuck them cheap ass cigars, fuck your yuck mouth teeth, fuck your hair piece, fuck your chocolate, fuck Guy Ritchie, fuck Prince William, fuck the Queen. This is America for my Lambo, little nigga. Now get the fuck out my hotel room. And if I see you in the street, I'm snapping the shit out of you. Look, fuck you, fuck the plane you flew in on. Fuck them shoes, fuck the socks with the bell on it Fuck your gay ass fairy faggot accent Fuck them cheap ass cigars Fuck your yuck mouth teeth Fuck your hair piece Fuck your chocolate Fuck Guy Ritchie Fuck Prince William Fuck the Queen This is America But my Lambo is blue nigga Now get the fuck out my hotel room And if I see you in the street I'm snapping the shit out of you